Hey everybody, I'm Gamero Says. Welcome back to ESA Summer 2021. Today we're raising money for Save the Children. Links to donate can be found below the stream. You can also type exclamation point donate in the chat. And a happy little link will pop right up so you can contribute some funds to this wonderful cause. We'd also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Up next, it's time for puppies. Disney's 102 Dalmatian puppies to the rescue. All puppies percent. Let's hear for let's hear it for chat. Uh, and we've got Tainted Tally, so take it away! Alright, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to show you today 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue, and this is the All Puppies category, so not quite the fastest one. You can do all levels without the puppies, but today we are going to get all the puppies. So, I hope you're excited for that, and I have a lovely call commentator with me as well, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Passeray, and I'm going to be helping out. Awesome. Alright, so I'm just gonna get started and then we can start talking once we're in the game. The timer actually starts when we take control of the puppy, so I'm just gonna actually like start the game and skip through cutscenes and then I can call it when we actually start the timer. Oh, I just have a bit of a loading screen because console's not quite as fast as PC, so you know, it takes us a few extra seconds to get in. But time starts when I skip this cutscene coming up, so... One. Alright, three, two, one, go! So yeah, Disney's 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue, and we're actually going to be rescuing the puppies. It's uh, pretty fun. So uh, right now we're just going to try and do optimized movement to try and get everywhere we need to go as fast as possible, while also picking up the puppies. So our main method of movement is going to be the roll, and something I learned today, it took me way too long to learn this, but is that you can buffer the jumps uh, when you do the roll. So I'm going to try and do that. That's something I haven't done before. So thank you, Passeri, for teaching me something new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you if you hold down the jump button while you're rolling, you'll automatically jump at the end of it. Uh, Very handy. We're gonna use that a few timing. places. But yeah, we have uh, I think sixteen levels. There are like this one, and then four boss fights, and in each of the regular levels, like this one, we will have six puppies to collect. Uh, some of them have prerequisites like that one where you need to take out the toy and then you go right in there and grab the puppy. And also all these cutscenes with the puppies, they are unskippable. I cannot go any faster than I am right now. I need to watch everything they say, listen to all they tell me when they rescue them. So that's why this one takes uh, quite a bit longer than the average speedrun of all levels. But hey, if they're cute. It's gonna be worth it. They have some interesting voice lines too. Oh, they really do, yeah. Like, I think your super puppy is my favorite. Yes, that's my favorite, too. <laughs> Aren't they it's really all good. super puppies? Yeah. Yes, exactly. We're all super puppies. <laughs> we are all super puppies today. So, hey, if you donate to charity, you can be a super puppy, too. Uh, this one is a little bit special as well. Some of them are hidden behind minigames, so we're just gonna try and shoot 10 bubbles as fast as we can. Completely random where they spawn, but that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll take it. And then we just shoot it down and collect the puppy. So some of these levels are very maze-like. You might be very confused as to like where you're supposed to go for the first time around, but it's okay. When you speed run, you've done this so many times, so it's fine. You know where to go. Nice job. So we're gonna do some, some special. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh no, I just want to see some Franker Z's in the chat when we get to every puppy. I want to see if chat Ooh. can keep up. Yes, do it. So I'm gonna try and do a bit of a special jump here to get high enough instead of platforming all the way around and that you're gonna see me doing that jump quite a few times but it helps making platforming a lot faster. And we also need to take the train on this one because we need to go to a secret room to find a special puppy there as well. And while I'm doing this I like to switch to uh, oddball because uh, I know most runners usually do this at Big Ben but uh, the way I see it is I need to just sit there and wait for the train anyway so I might as well do the switch there. Uh, and the reason that we do switch to Oddball is the fact that uh, we have an unskippable cutscene come up in, I think it's Cruella 2. Uh, and the, the line that uh, Oddball says in that cutscene is shorter than what Domino would say, so... We want to be Oddball to go extra fast. We save two seconds that way. A whole two seconds. Very important! Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also going to be doing some death warping, so as soon as I get off this train, I'm going to make sure to pick up a life just so I... Uh, have as much health as possible going into this run. Because it's definitely going to come in handy. I might take some accidental deaths as well, but uh, there are no sitching. They're all planned, I promise. Yeah. 
I'm much more used to running all levels, by the way, so I'm hoping my muscle memory is not going to kick in and just make me forget the puppies, but so far we're doing <laughs> good. So far we have all the puppies. Forget a puppy? Six How puppies. You? Good. <laughs> I cannot forget the puppies. It's not okay. I know. The worst is getting to the end and then realizing you're like one puppy short and you don't know I've actually had that happen. Well, thankfully I was streaming at that time, so chat was like, hey, you missed a puppy in this level. So, but that was still a significant time loss. I did not PB that run. But yeah, so that's actually, the story oh. of the game. Maybe we should talk about that as well, because basically our all our siblings have been kidnapped because Corolla wants to... Well, I mean, I think in the movie she's trying to make like a fur coat or something, but in this one she's actually trying to get a toy company going. And she's made all those little toys that you see scattered around the levels, but unfortunately the toys don't really sell, so she has this great idea that I'm going to kidnap all these puppies and make them into lifelike toys. I'm not sure exactly how she plans on executing that, because if you start thinking too logically about it, I don't think her plan's gonna work, but hey, here we are, we need to save our uh, puppy siblings. That's what matters. It's like, it's like they tried to make it more kid-friendly, but I'm thinking this might actually be more disturbing than making them into fur coats, I don't know. I think so too, because you get to see it at the end of the game, like, she has this super glue that's supposedly she's gonna use to, I guess, dip the puppies into and make them toys, but... I, I don't know. I'd rather not think about it too much, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think these toys would sell very well. I don't think so either. I really don't. So, but it's okay. We're gonna save them instead, so none of them are gonna get turned into toys. And we will have our happy ending all the way at the end. So you don't right, actually have to save any puppies. No, you don't game. actually have to save anyone. So, yes, you will. Do. <laughs> yes, but we will because we're nice people. We're raising money for children's charity and we're saving all the puppies. Alright, and then we have a tricky one because what you'll notice sometimes is that, hey, how do you get, like, past this barrier? Some of the enemies will be tied to them and you need to make sure to kill them to open up the barrier and get to where you need to be. So it can be really tricky as a casual player to find all of these puppies, but hey, luckily we know where they all are, so we can efficiently go collect them. Uh, and now we're at one of the levels that are the bane of my existence, Big Ben, so I'm just gonna try and focus on not falling, and I'll let Pass do some talking. Okay. So, um, if you played this game as a kid, you probably also hated this level. I certainly did. Um, because you're, what you're doing is you're climbing to the top of Big Ben, and there's a lot of platforming involved, and a lot of moving platforms. So... Sometimes we can skip a lot of this platforming, like in the all levels category, but since we're getting all the puppies, there's even more platforming that we have to do here. Yep. And some of it will need to repeat as well, like for this next one. Oh yeah, so you have to get all the way up to the top of this room. Get the puppy, and then you end up back on the ground floor after getting the puppy. So they kind of punish you for getting the puppy here. They do, which is kind of sad, because I want to get the puppy. So here we are. Puppy number two. Yeah, maybe chat should help me keep count. Uh, I can't actually see it, but you know, help me keep count so I don't miss any puppies. We're supposed to get 96 in total throughout the entire game. Uh, that's six for each of these levels. Uh, but you might be wondering, wait... There's 96 puppies, you play as two, and then there's the parents. Where are the last two puppies? Unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, we're missing two puppies, I guess, but... We're getting all of the ones we know about. We could not save all of them, but we tried our best. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, we beat Corella, so they're out of danger, we just don't know where they are. Yeah, exactly. That was also another example of that jump where I use upwards motion to kind of propel myself extra far. Which is super useful. So Don't listen to them. Officially. Don't listen to them, chat. The last two puppies are you and me. Friendship. Hey, there you go. <laughs> You're all safe and sound. Make sure to save us. <laughs> Alright, four puppies. So this game was released to go with the live-action 102 Dalmatians movie that was released around the same, but it has a completely different plot. I'm not sure what they were thinking. 
Yeah, it's the same puppies and like the same dogs, but the plot mm -hmm. is just entirely different. I haven't seen the movie in forever, but I looked up the plot somewhat recently and it's like they go to Paris and stuff like that. We never we never make it to Paris here. Yeah. This is all the UK. Uh, and I actually, I talked about this with a friend as well, like, I had completely forgotten about this until he brought it up, but apparently in 102 Dalmatians is a live-action movie, Cruella had gone through therapy after the events of the first one, and she was supposed to be, like, cured of her obsession with that. fur. But then the big Ben starts ringing, and she just, like, loses it? I don't know. <laughs> None of that is in this game. It's kind of a wild plot point, though. All right, six puppies. We did it. Six puppies. And I haven't fallen yet. Let's hope I don't do it on this. Ooh, last part. <laughs> All right, yeah, we are okay. out of the woods and ready for the first boss fight. So I'm just going to let you keep talking while I try. Oh, I accidentally hit save. Oops. OK, so the boss fights all involve or mostly involve flinging fruit at Cruella. So now we've climbed to the top of Big Ben. She's throwing tomatoes at us, and we're going to try to hit her with pineapples. So you can see Tally hit the first pineapple and then hit the bell. What that does is it freezes her in place, except the first time there's a cutscene. So she got the first one out of the way. Now every time she hits the bell, it's going to freeze Corella in place, allowing Tally to just keep flinging pineapples at her. It's kind of broken. It's very broken, there we go. but works in our favor, so I'll take it. Yeah, I don't know why. Did she have like an aversion to fruit or something? Because at this point it's pineapple, on the second one it's watermelon, and in the third boss fight it's pumpkin? pumpkins. <laughs> uh, maybe this was something she discovered in therapy too. Maybe, maybe. That is true. Yeah, right now what you don't see is that she's got a pizza in that helicopter and pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, so it really hurts. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, now we're in real. Dead, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are fighting words. Bring it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now we're in real museum, which is like the first level, which is a bit of a collectathon. We don't just make our way uh, from start to end. We need to do some tasks along the way. So Fluffy, I guess, is the museum curator. Uh, this is Fluffy, by the way. Hello. Uh, so he's telling us that some of the uh, exhibits in this museum have been displaced, so for some reason it is our job to go find them and put them back. So we're gonna make sure we do that while also going to collect the puppies that are trapped in here. Oh, do they ever explain like why there's puppies scattered by- I mean, if Corella wants to make toys of them, why are the puppies just scattered everywhere? It seems highly inefficient. That's a really good question. <laughs> I never thought about this until just now. <laughs> I think the idea is that then they get like transported to the toy factory. Because, mm. um, spoilers, Fluffy gets captured and we find him in the toy factory in the last level. True. Um... Because <laughs> he, he managed- he, he tells you he managed to squeeze out through one of the air holes because he's so skinny. I was, I'm gonna Figure try for a works. skip or um, an out of bounds, I guess, that I normally don't do. I've only learned this like today, so wish me luck. Oh. The camera drop, there we go. <gasps> you no! Say no! Out of... I'm trying it again, I'm trying it again. I wanna get this for the marathon. Of... Say it's an out of bow wow wounds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Alright, let's, let's, let's do this. There we yeah, go, we got it. it! So that Ooh, is way faster because otherwise you need to go back into the dinosaur room, which is, you know, a slight bit of a loading to get into the dinosaur room and then out of the dinosaur room again as well. Uh, but instead we can just use that toaster bot right there to kindly just boost us all the way up on top of this pyramid where we need to be. And why it's considered out of bounds is because technically, when Tally turned around, the robot pushed her out of bounds. And when that happened, the game tried to find the right elevation that she should be at for that point, and it found the second level and put her there. Yeah. Also, very important exhibit. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, do you think we've got time for donations coming up soon? Sure thing. Uh, I'm just gonna explain real quick that we have the sure. final exhibit here that we need to collect. Very important. It's a donut. Oh god, I fell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a donut! And you might be- wait, wait. Why is there a donut we need to collect? There's this museum. Is this an exhibit? Uh, no. Fluffy just wants a snack and then we can leave. Uh, go ahead with donations. Alrighty, it looks like we've got quite a bit, so feel free to cut me off whenever. We've got a lot of super puppies in chat now. No. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Thrillhouse451. I'm sure glad all those characters fit. Thanks to ESA and the runners who make these events possible every year. Gotta go fast, gotta save those children. We've got and the puppies. $50. And the puppies, don't forget the puppies. We've got $50 here from McGroove94. Love the cause, love watching the runs, and I really love the champ reading my donation. Thank you, McGroove. Keep up the great work, guys. And he's putting that toward Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker and the file name choice. Let me do my best to get this right. Air it! Air it! <laughs> Some Forest Temple memes for you. Uh, we've got a $5 donation from the Spruce Goose. One donation equals one pet. Pet those puppies, chat. Can we get $5? Can we get a $5 train to pet these puppies? That money's going I towards Sega Bass Fishing. And then a, a firm a firm but kind request from Guardian Brawley, $10, asking, can I be a super puppy now? Yes. Yes, you can, Guardian Brawley. Best boy. Those ships can be incredibly trolly, by the way, throughout this entire level, so I got really lucky there, because I can actually take a death there if I'm really unlucky. Sometimes they just hit you for, like, seemingly no reason. It's incredibly rude. Yeah, thank you so much for those donations, by the way. I really appreciate the donations towards such a good cause. Save the children and save the puppies. You're a super puppy. There you go. See, chat? That's all of you. You're a super puppy. Alright, so this is another place where we can't really skip these enemies. We need to take them out for the level to continue to open up for us. And again, there are those ships, the bane of my existence. Uh, hopefully they don't take too much damage. Okay, cool. Alright, that was actually perfect. Nice. <laughs> um, this is another example where we need to take out an enemy to open a door as well. Because we want this puppy right here. And it is protected by a teddy bear. A teddy bear that shoots you with water and then says, you're my best friend. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna drop and collect that, because again, we are gonna death warp uh, later in the run, so I just wanna have as much extra life as possible. Uh, and it's just so handy, it's right there. Don't need to go far out of my way to get it. Uh, this one's really tricky to find when you play casually. I did not even think to look in here, but there's a puppy hunt in there. And a few more locks. Oh. I don't like this bear. Uh, then my, my health is incredibly dodgy right now, actually. Uh, so I hope I don't die. I'm just gonna be a little bit more careful here to make sure I don't take this death, but uh, I need to take out these teddy bears to make sure one. we get the last puppy. There we go. There uh, we and you go. also notice that when this comes down, it's like a pizza on the side of the box. But once it actually fully lowers and you get control of your puppy again, it's a puppy in there. Uh, so what you may notice if you play this casually, if you revisit a level where you have saved the puppies, next time you come back, the crates will still be there, uh, but they have food instead. So, that's where the pizza crate is from. Also a carnival. This one's really fun, because this was one of my favorite levels when I played this growing up, uh, but I've been mostly running this in all levels, and in all levels, you don't stop to do anything. You just run th completely through to the end. And there's nothing to it. Uh, but in this one, in all puppies, we actually need to do something because we need to go find and save all the puppies. So you get to see a little bit of the carnival. So I hope you like carnivals. And I never realized as a kid that you had to, you didn't have to do anything. You can just walk straight to the exit from when yeah. you start. It's <laughs> like just right joking. there. Um, I, I saw somebody make a, a pause buffer joke, P-A-W-S. The, the game menu is actually called the pause menu, P-A-W-S. Hey, I'll show that real quick. Look at that. Paused. <laughs> it's amazing. The game's way ahead of you. <laughs> also, I see people compare this to Spyro a lot. I never played Spyro, so I don't see it, but... Everybody who has looks at this game and says, it's like Spyro. And Toys for Bob actually developed both games. True, this is Toys for Bob, which is really funny. Uh, I actually have played Spyro, that was my first uh, speedrun that I did pick up, but 
I, I guess they're similar, but honestly not really something I ever thought about. But I, I guess I can see the similarities when you mention it. In there. Also some tricky jumping there as well. If I try to go just in a yeah. straight line towards that puppy, uh, I will miss and I will need to do two bounces. But if I bounce once and then go over to the side, uh, I can still get up on that ledge and not have to do that extra jump. Uh, and for this one you might go, wait, you missed the ticket! You're supposed to get the ticket, right? No. <laughs> for this one you actually just need to go behind it and then the puppy is hiding right over here. So unfortunately we still don't get to see all the attractions. For that you need the 100% category. Exactly. Which I actually haven't learned so I couldn't show you. The 100% category is a little torturous because you have to get all 100 bones in all levels and some of them are buried so you also have to remember where all the buried bones are. Yeah, that's probably my main reason for not learning it, actually, because there's uh, a lot of buried bones. <laughs> also, this little, like, wagon here is really fascinating. It's just a tiny wagon uh -huh. inside a circus tent, and you're like, oh, that's- why is it so big in the inside? Kind of like a TARDIS, right? Uh, but that's not everything. <laughs> now I'm leaving it, now I'm just gonna go back in. And it's different. Uh, but there's no puppies in here, so he's gonna leave it again. But then we're gonna go back in again. Oh. Uh, and then we have a different layout. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this puzzle real quick. Hope I don't miss because I get too impatient. There we go, we got the path. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it's three different rooms in this wagon. I think yeah, I'll go I back to the first one if I leave again now. <laughs> I'm free. But we just need to visit for those few puppies. Now we have five, so we have one more, which is on this ride over at the other side of the circus tents. You can get on the roller coaster, but we don't for all puppies. Unfortunately. You can okay, at um, least we save the puppies. Yeah, you get donuts. You get on the roller coaster and you collect donuts. As this game does. has something about donuts, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Fluffy needed a donut, we collect donuts on the roller coaster. Yeah, there's a lot of a, a real puppy probably shouldn't eat as much fast food as the puppies do no. in this game, because if you want to heal, you may have seen them scattered around in a few places. There's pizzas, uh, slices of pizzas, there's, uh, I don't think there's donuts for the puppies, but there's burgers, there's sausages. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not something I recommend you feed your own puppy, by the way. Just wanna put that out there. Uh, some potentially tricky jumpings in this part, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna play it safe and just walk right back up this log pile. Which can be really annoying. I don't know why the jumps are so weird. I'm guessing it's because of the uh, angles on it, but... And they made it slippery for some reason. The logs have like too. an ice texture for some bizarre reason. Uh, another place where we need to also just do a tiny bit of a prerequisite to unlock wherever the puppy is, but... Pretty simple and straightforward weakness once you know what to do. Way to go! We did it! Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit more platforming and this jump at the end. Hopefully I can get it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can line myself up. There we go. That one is actually... <laughs> it doesn't look so hard. But it is. It really is. So I'm really glad I landed at first try. Because if you fall there, you need to do it all over again. And either do the safe jump, which is slow, or do that jump, which is fast. Would you say it's frame perfect? Frame perfect. <laughs> almost, almost. Alright, so that should be puppy number five, I believe? Yes. So, to get to the last puppy in this game, once again, probably not something you should recommend that your real puppy does, but... I don't know, maybe your real puppy is as skilled as well. Operating heavy machinery. Uh, <laughs> there's here a we screen go. right here. We need this log moved. So, and for some reason they just leave the key for it right here. So we're just gonna grab that and, you know, do what all puppies do. Go into the crane and lift this log and move it to where we need it to be. Because uh, we want this puppy that's right here. And then we also need to lift it again afterwards as well to make our way all the way to the end of the level. Again, slippery logs, I don't know why, but we made it up. And then, moving it all the way to the last part. I don't think- this is actually not even the only time in the game you operate heavy machinery as a puppy. Uh, maybe I'll show the cutscene for the other one later on, because I do quite <laughs> like the cutscene. <laughs> These are talented puppies. 
They really are. Alright, so another level done. I'm gonna have another boss fight, so once again I'm just gonna try and focus and see if I can get some fast strats going, and I'll let Viseri explain what's going on. Yeah, so this time we're throwing watermelons at Cruella, and she's moving in a boat, um, which is, is somewhat random. Um, which direction she turns oh, at what point. that was so, really bad. <laughs> it's hard to anticipate. Tally's gonna try to wait for her to stop and then fling the watermelons. Sometimes, as you saw there, they don't go the direction you think they're gonna go when you fling them. Because you can or see they they're kind like of angled. They go far enough. Yes. They go just a little bit short a lot. All right, there we go. We've got three. That's the cutscene that's faster with Oddball. We couldn't skip it, and it's two seconds faster to have her say the voice line instead of Domino. All right, there we made go. It through. That wasn't a great fight, but good enough. I'll take it. That was my own mistakes that slowed that down. I was trying to be greedy and trying, like, pre firing and where she is, but. Uh, like Pacera said, it's completely random, like, sometimes she's just gonna turn, sometimes she's just gonna, yeah, not play nice. But it's also possible for her to just disappear sometimes. Usually she reappears right away, but sometimes she reappears on the other side. <laughs> That's very rare, though. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually had that happen, but... Wouldn't be surprised if we got, you know, the marathon. Hey, that's never happened before. I've actually had a few of those <laughs> in my practice, so. Count it see if any of them show up. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't happen yet, but it might. For rescuing me. They have a tendency to show up when you least expect it. Uh, this game actually has a few soft locks as well, and I discovered a new one uh, just yesterday, so. <laughs> oh, I'm no. kind of extra scared uh, today, but hopefully it's gonna be fine. Yeah, some tricky platforming here. I'm gonna be scared and not roll and just play safe. Uh, here we can just drop, and then once I get to this one, I like to just jump, roll. That hits that puppy, and I also drop down, which uh, is good, because I need to just leave from here and afterwards anyway, so... That was really good. Where we go? That was puppy number four, so there's two more puppies to get before we leave this level. Uh, there's gonna be one in a treehouse and one by Stonehenge. Yes, that's right, we're at Stonehenge. <laughs> I guess. Oh, no! Okay, Mr. Cycle was okay. We'll just wait for it to come back. Do we have time to read some donations while you're collecting these last puppies? Go ahead. All right, we've got $20 here from who else but Super Puppy. Heck the frame, <laughs> save the animals. We love you, Tali. Thank you. We got $50 from Sol Stolperstein. It says, today we are all super puppies indeed. Yes. We got $102 from Anonymous. <laughs> $1 per puppy. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Thank you. And last but not least, I'm going to give everybody a headphone warning because we, we got a loud one coming up. $10 from Frosthammer. Not 101 Dalmatians, but 102? That's pretty serious! Ah! Thanks so much <laughs> for your donations, everybody. Yes, thank you so much. And keep them coming, too. Like, it really is a great cause with Save the Children, so... Anything you can spare to support the cause is really appreciated, both by the team and myself. And, you know, if you can donate, that's okay, too. If you can share with the stream, stuff like that really helps as well. Bring in more people. Uh, and now we're at Barnyard, uh, back to the game. Uh, so you're gonna see me talking to a pig every so often, that is Priscilla. Uh, it is her birthday today, but unfortunately the farmer is kind of lazy, so he's not exactly doing his chores, which means that it's up to Priscilla for some reason to do them. Uh, I feel kind of bad for her because, you know, one, she's a pig, uh, and two, it's her birthday. Uh, so we're gonna help her out, uh, take care of some of these chores for her. The first one was to uh, just turn on the water, because she hasn't even been given water to drink, so that was priority number one. Stay hydrated, chat. Uh, <laughs> and then we're also going to fix this windmill. Super easy, uh, there was just like one of those planks blocking it, we just need to either bark or roll through it, and it's gone. And, uh, and we're actually gonna do some death warping in this level, so I'm gonna get just set up for that right now before I go taking care of those chickens. Alright, so I'm gonna let him hit me twice, that means I'm one hit away from dying, but that's okay, assuming everything <laughs> goes well. Um, because we're gonna help get the chickens back in the coop, and hopefully these chickens will not be too trolly. I'm just gonna try and focus on getting that right. Oh. That one chicken so if you, one if you bark at the chickens when they're too far away, they'll go in the opposite direction. You want them to be close yeah. enough to the coop that when you bark, they go in. 
Uh, and the angle, I, I, d I don't, I don't have the guts to bark at that one because the angle, if the angle is too sharp, it might just get stuck. And now that one has just decided to be stuck as well. Uh, and that bulldozer is coming for me, and this is very dicey. <laughs> uh, yes. Like can, can we go towards the coop again? Perfect. All right, there we go. So probably can't get hit again because she needs to get the puppy before getting hit by that bulldozer. Exactly. We're getting this puppy and then we can get hit by the bulldozer because that's going to death warp us back to Priscilla, which is much faster than actually walking back. Hello. Now, there we go. <laughs> what I want is attention. He's nowhere to see. But now we're back in Priscilla. Oops. Uh, so that's much faster to take that death warp and just get teleported back or we're actually having to walk back. So uh, now we're going to a... I forget what it's called. Silo? Silo, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because apparently there's some tools in there that we want, so we're just gonna all the way at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, just waste all that grade. Was... Exactly. Why was it a good idea to put the tools at the bottom there? I don't know, but there they are. Uh, we're setting up another death warp as well, so we'll let him hit you once more time. Uh, technically, an out of bounds skip right here. Just go a little bit faster towards the silo instead of going all the way around. What's also concerning is there's a puppy at the bottom of this silo. Yes, that is actually even more concerning. I don't know. I don't know how it survived, but we are saving it now. We are rescuing. Exactly. Thankfully it was in a box, I guess, and not, you know, squished directly under the grain. So I guess it could be worse. Uh, but we made it out, so once again, we need to go back to Priscilla, so again, we're just gonna take this death right here and get warped right back where we need to be. And this is why it's so handy to have extra health in the speedrun. Because otherwise, yeah, this, this gets very dicey very quick. Uh, and I mentioned that we were going to operate more heavy machinery. So we're going <laughs> to pick up this tractor key right here. Because apparently we need to tear down this outhouse. And we're going to drive a tractor over it. Because that's what you do when you need to tear things down, right? Oh, but first, there's a puppy right here. I hear dog noises. Uh, I'm going to do another out of bounds. Just the immersion. <laughs> just the immersion, exactly. All right. So we get it. There, there we, go. we go. So that saves time. Uh, and I'm just going to show this cutscene because I find it very funny. So I'll just enjoy this. This is what it looks like when puppies drive tractors, right? Don't need to touch the steering wheel. Don't need to use any gears, no pedals, no nothing. Just sit on the front and it goes. And listen to this. There's a strange dog outside and it's riding my tractor across the yard. It just, it tickles me every time. I, I don't know why a cutscene like that is an itch kids game, but here we are. Uh, we tore down the outhouse, and now we can go back to Priscilla one last time. And, uh, Passeray, what do you think? Should we give her a birthday present? It is her birthday, after all. It is her birthday? What do you guys past? think? Let's give her give the birthday present. Give Priscilla her birthday present. Save the frames. There you go. We're giving her the birthday We're raising present. money for Cherry. Let's give give her her birthday present. <laughs> there we go. She got her birthday Happy present. Happy birthday, Priscilla. Save the birthdays. Save the birthdays. Save the puppies. Save the children. That's what we're here to do today. So, this is a little bit of a time, but hey, it's a marathon. We're having a good time. It's worth it. Uh, and now we're at the token ice level of the game, because... It's the game from the 90s, you gotta have a token ice level, I guess. <laughs> gotta have one! We were just <laughs> in the middle of the countryside, we were at a sunny barnyard. Now we're... in winter? I don't know, did we just travel to the North Pole or something to get winter? I, I don't know. Did we, but, uh, did we time travel? <laughs> Doesn't matter, here we are. Here we are. Uh, and there's puppies to save, so, you know, we're gonna do that. Uh, a few of them, like that one, is, uh, again, you need to do certain triggers to be able to get to the puppies. I had to take all those snowmen out to get the puppy within reach for me to be able to uh, get it. And then we have a puppy right here. I think this is a pretty good cycle, actually, because I need to wait for that anyway, and then I need to wait for this ice block to come back. Could've been better, but it's fine. Oh, and then I fell, Oh no! Oops, it's fine. I'll just wait for one more. It's, uh, it's okay. And there's a penguin. Oh, there's a penguin. Get him. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, it's fine. There we go, made it through. First time, let's go. Alright, and then this ice castle right here, also the puppy. I'll take that with us before we go as well. 
Uh, and for some reason, I guess there's this penguins having a race. I don't know, but we're just gonna try and make this through and hope that they don't hit us. Uh, and I mentioned before the fast food. There's one right there. Some burgers. Num. Alright, and now we're forced to partake in this slalom race. I, I I don't know why, but like, Oddball is not very good at slalom, unfortunately, so we're not hitting <laughs> any targets. Uh, well, that was terrible, but okay. It's, it's fine, we got to the bottom, that's what we need to do. Uh, and then there's a puppy in this igloo. That one, I don't know if I ever found that as a kid. I don't know why anybody would ever think that it's there. There's, I don't think there's anything else you need to like bark at to destroy like no. that. So it really just completely throws off everything that you may have picked up. Uh, and then we have another puppy back here as well. This area is like so easily miserable. I have forgotten about this area even existing so many times, but we need to go here because there's a puppy here. And we are getting all the puppies. It's not almost all the puppies, it is all the puppies. So we need to grab everything. And then we have one more before the end of the level, and uh, then we probably have time for some more messages, if there's any. You're a super puppy. Looks like we've got one here. $25 from Tofu. It says, good luck on the run. You truly are a super puppy. <laughs> Thank you, Tofu. That's a different, uh, another runner for this category in this game as well. We've got $30 here from Modular Table, donating for a great cause. Let's get that Sega bass fishing. Yeah, that's such a great incentive. 30, 30 bucks going towards Sega Bass Fishing. That one's looking looking a lot healthier now. Let's see how much is left on that one. Sega Bass Fishing, ooh, only about 320 bucks. 321 away from meeting that. We've got a bit of a time to, to get to it, so come on, chat. Let's get that let's get that ball rolling on Sega Bass Fishing. Most of the other ones are met. Looks like we've got the Crash the Coasters. That's already been met. Looks like the extreme difficulty for Metal Gear Solid's also been met, and the SRM Showcase, of course, for Majora's Mask. That one's been met, so we just need to get Mario Party 7 for that bonus game for Sega Bass Fishing. And, of course, we've got the next one, the closest one coming up, is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD file name uh, with Taskbot uh, just ahead of Eric, and then we've got Sheik, Chuck, Lonk, Lank, and Lunk. So <laughs> no shortage of names to choose or put in your own. A good luck, chat, on winning that one. You got this, chat. I believe in you. You are all raising money for a wonderful cause, by the way. In case it hasn't been mentioned enough times, I'm just gonna mention it one more time. Uh, but yeah, we're at the Ancient Castle now, because that's always where you go after you visit an ice level, right? And here's the soft lock I discovered the other day. If you get too close to that uh, wall before you hit the bed, apparently you can pull up into the bed. Uh, and you can't get out, so. I didn't know that. Okay. I found out the hard way. <laughs> I was trying to like, I'm gonna go fast, I'm gonna go towards that wall as fast as I can, and like, whoops, that was apparently a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, we need to go there and then hit that switch to get this puppy, so we're starting to see a few levels now that has a little bit of backtracking to get all of them. But hey, we're saving the puppies, it is worth it. And I guess this counts as heavy machinery as well. Once again, we're gonna do something that <laughs> the puppies probably shouldn't do. Uh, we're gonna get on this catapult. And totally we're safe. <laughs> Definitely okay for the puppy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's a puppy here as well. So we're gonna bring him with us. Nice job. And then it just jumps down the hole and you never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen down that hole so many times, by the way, in complete accidents. It's uh, not yeah, it's it's right next to the puppy. Mm -hmm. uh, just gonna try and not let this wind blow me away, like your donations are. Uh, and now we're at the end of the level, <laughs> and, <laughs> and now we have another boss fight. And this one actually has an enemy manipula manipulation as well, so I'm gonna try and get that done while uh, my commentator explains it. Yes, so this time we're going to be using some more catapults to fling pumpkins at Cruella. Uh, what Tally has to do is knock out all of these blocks that have the shield on them. And she stops here to try to get this manipulation. Because if we do it right, then Cruella's going to be right where we need her to be at the end to shoot her. She's going to be right where we stop. Um, but once you knock out all three on a, of the shield blocks on a level, the whole level collapses and Cruella falls down a level to get to the point where Tally's going to be able to shoot her. Oh, I didn't get it. That's a shame, but it's okay. 
Yes, so... You're not supposed close. to be able to shoot her through the wall. Yes, it was very close, and if you get it close, you still get part of it. She, she still comes over here faster than she would otherwise, so that's great. And then you notice Tally was just able to shoot her right through the wall because they didn't check that, I guess. I guess I didn't think of that, but hey, it works for us. Makes it a lot easier for us to get that boss fight done pretty quickly. We just need to do that initial setup and then you're good. Uh, now we're in spooky forest because I guess that's another token level that you kind of just need. We are actually getting close to Cruella's uh, manor now, which is apparently where we're going. Uh, to that and her toy factory. So, and again, we have a bunch of puppies we need to rescue. Uh, and this is a bit of a maze. I was so lost in here when I did this casually. And I also did not know that you can use these trees to teleport. So when I was first learning this run and I saw those trees being used as like portals, I was mind blown. I did not realize that at all. I was just running around like a headless chicken. Uh, but it's so easy, so much easier once you actually start to understand the layout of the level. Oh, this one's pretty short. I still get lost when puppies. I try all puppies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's tricky. I had one this earlier one when I suddenly completely lost my sense of direction. I was like, wait, where did I go again? <laughs> This one, and then there's Hedge Maze, which is also literally mm. intended to be a maze. Um, they do a pretty good job. They are quite confusing. The funny thing about Hedge Maze is, uh, in all levels, Hedge Maze doesn't actually feel like a maze. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then when you do all puppies and you actually need to like grab everything, then you can really tell that, oh no, it's a maze. They, they have it. So it was pretty easy, last puppy is right over here, and then we can get to the end of the level. You're a super puppy! You're a super puppy! They recycled the lines, but I don't mind, they're so good. <laughs> I Ow. love that one. <laughs> yeah, I think Hedge Maze is up next, right? Yes. So. Yeah. So now you get to see how this level is actually a maze. Because again, all levels, I think I need to hit one switch, and other than that, it's just a straight path through, but it's mm -hmm. not quite the case for this, this category. Uh, we need to visit this... It feels like a crypt, but at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> is it really a crypt it does. In a maze? Uh, maybe I shouldn't But if it's like it. Corella's maze outside her manor, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe uh, she keeps crypts in her hedge maze. Because once again, we are setting up for, I think, the last death warp of the game. Uh, so we just want to take a little bit of extra damage as we go. Uh, two puppies down so far, and then we need to switch this one to open up a different path. Now we need to actually go back up here. Uh, a bit of backtracking, just to make sure we get all the puppies. Because on this compass, there's a puppy. Because you know, that's where you put the puppies, I guess. See you later. Where do you it's keep fine. your puppies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, good question. Uh, <laughs> not in my backyard, that's for sure. Oh. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take another beat of damage here. I Giant ball of death. Yeah. <laughs> Cause again, you just keep those around in your backyard, I guess. Uh, and we're gonna get set up for the death part in just a second, but we are- I think we have one more puppy there? No, wait. Do we have one more puppy? No. We're just gonna set this up right now. Alright, so I need to open this. And then I need to say hi to the parrot here. I forgot his name, but we need his checkpoint. Uh, and then I need to hit this button. And now we need to do a fair bit of backtracking. So why I got that checkpoint will make sense in just a minute, but for right now I'm just gonna make my way back to grab puppy number four. So, and yeah, this really is a maze. Uh, I was fine learning this at all levels when you go just, you know, through it once, but as soon as I had to start backtracking, it's so easy to lose direction. I need to be careful not to get too close to the parrot again there, because if I do, that's going to negate the checkpoint that I already get set up. Uh, and now I'm so low on health that one more hit is going to kill me, so now I need to be careful. Uh, but it's fine because the puppy should be right up around this corner right here. Right here. And yeah, there we go. He didn't hit me. Uh, and I've noticed that I need to look at him now, because otherwise he's not going to shoot me. Come on, there we go. So, now I died, and the reason we got this checkpoint is because that means I spawned right here. So I don't need to walk all the way back, I just spawned at that checkpoint, and then I can keep going. So, last death warp of the game. Uh, we have two more puppies to get. 
Uh, right here, I'm just gonna take a damage because it doesn't really matter anymore, so it's just faster to run right through. Uh, and then we also have a puzzle to solve, which is completely random. Sometimes it can be really nice to you, sometimes it can be really mean. So let's hope it's gonna be play nice. Maybe it knows that we're at a marathon and it's gonna be really cool. Alright, let's see. That's uh, not a good start. <laughs> No, this is not a good start. So the maximum There's... you can turn in each one is three. And I'm getting a lot of threes. <laughs> <laughs> this is wow. probably the worst puzzle I've ever this had. This is a beautiful one. <laughs> well, I had one Just of the, in time for the marathon. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, last puppy is right here, and then we're gonna make our way into Krella's mansion. Cause, you know, I guess she left it unprotected, or maybe this maze was supposed to be the protection, but... Oh well, doesn't matter, we're here at our manor, so we're gonna get in here and save yet another six puppies. Uh, and as you can see when we're visiting here as well, you can see how self-absorbed she really is with some of the decor. Uh, you don't even see it here, but once we get up to her bedroom, you can really see it. And this one tends to trip me up as well, because I tend to forget where some of the puppies are. Because there's, like, in her bedroom, there's only, like, three of them really close to each other. And sometimes I also forget that Yeah, they don't put any at one. the beginning, they're all at the end. Yeah, this was the first one right here. You need to activate that cutscene and which turns you around. And it's just, they really don't want you going over here, I guess. Oh, there we go. First puppy down. Uh, the next three are the ones that are really close because just up this hallway is her bedroom. Uh, and then you can see what I mean with the decor as well. You see these paintings? That's her manor, that's herself, that's herself again. Uh, behind this picture, we have a puppy. Makes sense to keep them there, right? Uh, and then we have a <laughs> sta statue bust of herself there. Uh, I'm just gonna take care of you to play it safe. Uh, one puppy here, right in the floor of this bedroom. Uh, and then again, there's a painting over here. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that. Oops. And another puppy in here. There's just puppies everywhere. What would you say is the weirdest hiding place for a puppy here in this game? Uh... Oh, good question, actually. Uh, Besides behind know. the painting, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the behind the painting is definitely an interesting one. I guess in this place, because I think this is like a boiler room, and they just stuffed two puppies down here, and I'm just like, isn't this room very warm? One is on top of the boiler. Yeah. That just that feels kind of cool. That safe. Maybe it was cold. Oh, well, maybe. But again, we're walking on top of the boiler, too, so I don't know. He's a hungry puppy at least, but hopefully he can now go get himself some donuts or something. Uh, and we're at a level, and now we're at the last level level of the game, which is the toy factory, where all the toys are made, where the puppies are supposed to be turned into toys themselves. Uh, this can be, can be tri quite tricky. Uh, there's also a few places you can soft lock in this one, so I'm just going to try and focus, and I'll hand it over to my commentator again. Yes, yeah, so this one... Um... In this one, we're not operating the heavy machinery, but there is a lot of it. You gotta wonder what these machines are meant to do. I don't Driving think they'd be very now, good at making toys. <laughs> so here's puppy number one. He needs the bathroom. <laughs> I don't blame him. I, we don't know how uh, long they've been in there. Probably a while. No. These are giant crushers, for some reason they have some purpose in the toy factory. I don't know, this level actually really scared me as a kid, because there's so many things that try to come down and kill you. Um, These crushers are scary also a lot of places to because they can soft lock me. Yes, yeah, so it's possible to get stuck uh, with the crushers to get pushed under the level by some of the crushers. Here's this puppy hidden over behind the boxes, kind of blending in. Yep. Try to camouflage, it didn't work. Alright, and more crushers. There's a lot of these. So play this one safe, I think. There we go. And now I, we're I going don't think to I can make that one, one of these boxes. Really up. Yeah. These puppies really should be wearing hard hats. This is not They safe. really should. <laughs> they really should. <laughs> Alright, so this one is the scariest crusher of the malls. I'm just gonna hope for the best, please. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, oh. actually, it gave me the speed boost, but I don't need it in this category because I actually need to get boost. the puppy. <laughs> if this was all levels, that would have been perfect. 
Uh, but I actually need to get on top that... of this for this puppy. Classic speedruns. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong category again, but I appreciate you trying. We might have soft locked, but we're good. We're doing good. We're doing good. So now we can go in here. So that was puppy number four? No, wait, three. Uh, puppy number four is under here. I don't really know what these machines are. I think they just kind of had fun with creating weird puzzles and things, and we're like, yeah, we could put that in a toy factory. Makes total sense. So we've got like some magnetic. Oh floating platforms here. Yeah, there's buttons you can hit at the corner of the room, which makes them like move around so you can access the whole room, but we don't need that. We're just gonna make our way through. Right, Mind if I jump in last... really quick? Oh, uh, go ahead. Okay, while you're saving those puppies, let me just check off my bingo sheet here. We've got a never happened before. We've got an ice level, haunted forest. We've got a spooky <laughs> mansion and a factory level. Got it. All right, bingo. Uh, we've got $30 <laughs> here from Venodoom. This is one of my first game I played as a child. Thanks for the memories. Uh, we've also Thank got you. $50 here from Ultima Zero. Nothing better after a hectic party than a little bit of nice, relaxing fishing. That's for the Mario Party after party of bass fishing. That's 50 bucks going toward that. Thank you very much, Ultima Zero. We've got also here $30 from Warded Animal 132. Uh, thank you very much. There's no comment on that, but they've said enough with their donation toward the bass fishing run as well. That one's getting met pretty quickly, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can get to Oops. that one. Oop. The first thirty, uh, the first donation, the thirty dollars from Venodoom is actually going toward the Shoot Mania Storm Hard Map Showcase one-handed. So they're going to play that game one, or they're going to play a level in that one one-handed. So if you want to see that one, that one's also still up for grabs. Thank you everybody for those donations, and that's going toward a great cause with Save the Children. Yes, thank you, and again, keep them coming while I just thank try and do the hardest jump of the game here and keep messing up all the stupid stuff. Uh, but we do officially have all the puppies saved, so if you've been keeping count, yes, that is 96 puppies saved. Uh, I'm trying to make my way to the behind the boss fight, I'm just gonna grab this cog, I think, try and play it safe. Hardest jump of the game right there, it is so difficult to do, but we got it. Uh, and now I'm just gonna try yes. and focus again on this one. Last boss fight is gonna be a little bit loud, hopefully Tech's gonna be able to lower it if it's too bad. Uh, but I'm gonna try and go for optimal cycle and let Passer explain. Yes, yeah, so uh, now we actually have lasers to shoot Cruella with instead of just fruit. But we can't actually shoot Cruella, we have to shoot her machinery and break it. So you see right now Tally's breaking all these boxes. If you do it right, like she just did right there, you can break them all in one cycle, so that was awesome. Um, next, we have to shoot these robot heads. And um, getting three or four is, is what Tally's gonna go for here. Looks like she might be able to get to the fourth. Um, except the RNG is not cooperating. <laughs> so they just don't appear sometimes. But here we go. Two more left. And Cruella is shooting her super gloop at us. This is what she was going to use to turn all the puppies into toys. And um, in the final cutscene, you'll see what the super gloop does to her. But um, the last enemy is these floating electric orbs. And so Tally waited for the three two of them to pop up, so in one We're cannon dying. she can hit all of these. One's gonna pop up right there, and then when that happens, that's almost I time. I missed it! <laughs> three out of three comes up, it'll be time. Oh no! Oh, okay, oh, that so was... we're gonna need one more cannon. <sighs> Alright. Time. There we go, time! <laughs> That was incredibly unfortunate, but hey, we made it through, we saved all the puppies, we defeated Cruella, she's getting a taste of her own medicine and getting lowered into the super glue. So, thank you so much for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed this run, and uh, if you want to pick this up for yourself as well, we have a super wholesome uh, community. If you want to join us on Discord, you can find us on speedrun.com with uh, a bunch of guides. Passer has done some guides, uh, we have some other good runners who've done some really good guides as well, so it's pretty easy to pick up. Uh, so, shout out to the 100 animations community, and shout out to Passeray for helping me out today. Thank you for that great run. Uh, thank you for being here. This should be the first time all puppies has been shown at a marathon, so this is a yes. big, big event. This is, and I hope you all enjoyed puppies. it. We did! Uh, and if you want to see more of me as well, I tend to do horror games and retro games. Uh, this is in the retro category. Uh, but yeah, you can find me at Tainted on Twitch, same name pretty much everywhere, so... Well, thank you to see you around. Thank you. That's all for me. Even though she's thank you very much, Tainted Tolly, and saving all the puppies. We're ever so thankful. 
Uh, let's see, that'll be it for me. That was my last shift at my first ESA doing donation readings. Hope you've all had as much fun as I had. Uh, it's been an honor to be in such great company. Thanks to all the other donation readers. Thanks to all the runners, all the fantastic speed. Thank you for that world record run that we just had with Spyro. Pretty sure I got to go double check on that one. And thanks for all the donations and all the good that everybody's done. Uh, up next, we've got uh, the next donation reader. We've got HUDS601. It's going to be reading, uh, and the next runner, Sketch TV, is going to be doing Command and Conquer, so be sure to tune into that. And thank you, everybody here at ESA. It's been a pleasure. See you after the break.